Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can pair a domain to your Minecraft server's IP address and port so that people can join with a domain name instead of the IP. So if you're currently typing an IP address like this into your Minecraft server, so if you're currently typing an IP address like this into your Minecraft client to join, then it can be nicer to actually give people a domain to type in because it can be more memorable and easier to type in. So before we start, you will need a domain name for this. So if you don't have one, you can come to namecheap.com and register one. If I was going to use a domain Atomatrix, I could maybe do Atomatrix MC and see what kind of domains come up. So for me, there's all sorts of different ones, atomatrixmc.com, atomatrixmc.game, and all of these will cost a different amount depending on the ending of the domain. But you'll need to buy a domain or have a domain that you can use for this. And you can either set it up so that the domain like this works, or you can use a subdomain like play.atomatrixmc.com. However, I already own the domain atomatrix.gg, so I'm gonna use this for this tutorial. So once you've purchased your domain, you're gonna to want to come to the DNS records page, I've connected my domain to Cloudflare. If you want to do that, you can look up a tutorial online, but you do not need Cloudflare for this to work. You can use the default DNS on whatever registrar you've purchased a domain on. If you don't know how to get to the DNS records page, you can also look that up, and a registrar should have a page that you can go to to look up how you do it. So I'm gonna start by showing you how you can map the bare domain to your Minecraft server, so without a subdomain. So you're gonna to want to add a record in your DNS, and your type is gonna to want to be an A record and your name or host is going to be at, and this is basically telling the record that it doesn't want to use a subdomain. And then for your IPv4 address, you're going to want to come back to your console and take your address and then just paste it in here. And keep in mind, you will have to remove the port from here. So take off the port and the colon as well. So you should just have four different numbers paired together with dots. You're then going to want to save this. And then we're going to need to add another new record. This one's going to be an SRV record. So I'll scroll down and click that one here. You're going to want to set the name to at, and this also does the same thing, it just makes sure it doesn't use any subdomain. The service is going to be underscore Minecraft, and the protocol is TCP. Now, if you don't have a drop down like it does on Cloudflare, the TCP is basically just you type underscore TCP and you will paste that into the box. Priority you want to set to zero and the weight to five, and then the port will just be your custom port from your address here. So I can paste in the IP and then take out what was before the colon, so 25565. And then the target is just your domain, so I'll type atomatrix.gg. Also for the TTL, you want to set this to either automatic or whatever it was set to before. You can then click save and then save that domain. So now I'm going to show you what you need to do if you want to set up using a subdomain. So you're going to want to set up a record, this one being an A record again. And the name is going to want to be your subdomain, so I'm going to use play for mine. Your IPv4 address is again the same as we had before, so just your IP address to your server without the port or the colon and then leave the TTL as default and then click save. So we're also going to need to add the SRV record so I'll change the type down here to SRV. The name is going to be play because that's our subdomain. The service is going to be underscore Minecraft and the protocol will be TCP again but if you don't have the drop down menu like me your protocol is going to be underscore TCP and then a full stop and then whatever your subdomain here was, in my case it's play, and then you'd obviously paste this here. Leave the TTL as it is on auto, set the priority to zero and the weight to five, and then for the port you're going to want to come back to your server console, copy your address, paste it in, and remove the IP address so you just have the port. This will either be four or five digits. And then your target is going to be the same as what you would type into Minecraft, so mine would be play.atomatrix.gg, and then we'll just save the record. So it's also worth mentioning that these records may take a while to update. I think it can take up to four hours. I know Cloudflare is quite quick, so if you're using Cloudflare, they should update straight away. But if this doesn't work straight away, just wait a few hours and see if it works then. But if I click add a server and type in the server address as play.actomatrix.gg and then click done, you'll see my server pops up here, right here. And I can also use direct connect to connect into it. Click join server and then we'll join into our server here. So that's how you can connect a domain to your Minecraft server to make it easier for other people to join so they don't have to type in a numeric IP. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.